Good afternoon. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the captioner for today. You're what? I'm the captioner for today for today's ceremony. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, just needs. Uh, do you know how to assign captioner? Um, give me one second. I can get you situated here with the. What's your name? Okay, thank you. Right. Yeah. So many people talking. Does anybody else notice something that people are showing up as Kim? Yes, thank you. We're taking a look at that. I, I fixed my own, but I'm showing that a bunch of people are showing up as Kim. Thank you. Hello, if everyone will click on the little square and you see the three dots in the upper right corner and click on rename to add your name to your square. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everyone. It is currently 2.59 p.m. and we thank you for joining us. At this time, we will begin with a few Zoom tips just to help this experience of our virtual academic award ceremony. We do ask everyone keep their microphones on mute throughout the presentation to help with the streaming and the sound process being delivered on all ends. Um, that will help any feedback, any noises in any background. And you can find and make sure that you are on mute in your corner if you are on a computer. Um, it is in the bottom left corner. If you are on a cell phone, it is also left, located in the bottom left corner. And you will click the microphone and make sure there is a red line through that microphone as shown on your screen currently. That is how you know your microphone is on mute. Likewise with the cameras, we do ask everyone keep their camera off at the time. Um, speakers will turn their cameras on when presenting, and we will also give award recipients an opportunity to turn on their cameras to be seen and an opportunity also for a screenshot to be shared um, through our website as well as Trailblazer Talk. So please have your cameras on when announced, um, but until then, please keep them off for viewing purposes. Family and friends can view this ceremony via the AB Tech YouTube page, and we will share that link in the chat box for anyone who needs that to share for family and friends. During the time when we are able to turn on cameras for to celebrate our award recipients, to view everyone in all screens, you will need to click in the right corner on view, and then you will click on gallery view that will change the screen from speaker mode to gallery view to see everyone so when your time comes and your time to shine you, that is how you'll be able to view your classmates and all reward recipients if you are viewing on a cell phone you will simply swipe left for a gallery view to view multiple screens and continue swiping to see all screens and again, at the completion of each program, we do ask everyone to turn their cameras back off for streaming purposes. If you have any questions or connection issues during the ceremony, please send a chat to participants titled Ask Me Questions as myself, as well as Michelle Hathcock on our call today. Also, if you are viewing your name on Zoom and it is not listed as your exact name, you can edit your name by clicking on the three dots located at the top right of your own photo via Zoom and click on rename. It will allow you to type in your first and last name. Again, if you do have any issues or questions at all, please do not hesitate to click and send a message in the chat and we will begin our program shortly. Thank you.
Again, good afternoon. We would like to cover our Zoom tips one more time for those just joining us. We do ask that everyone keep their microphones on mute throughout the entire ceremony. You can find your mute button on the microphone icon in the bottom left hand of a computer screen. If you are viewing on a cell phone, you can also see that at the bottom left of your computer screen. And to know your microphone is on mute, it will have a red line through the microphone icon. You can also turn your cameras off um, at the during the ceremony as well to help with our streaming purposes, um, as well as our live YouTube connection. You can also see your camera in the bottom left hand of your screen on your computer or cell phone, and it will have a red line through there as well um, to know your cameras are off. Award recipients will have the opportunity to turn on their cameras throughout the presentation um, at their respective programs are mentioned, but we do ask that you keep your cameras off until that time. If you are calling in on a cell phone and would love to change your name to be seen on your Zoom, you will click on the three dots located at the top right of your picture on Zoom and click on rename. If you are trying to view all speakers in a gallery view, you will click on view at the top right of your Zoom screen and click gallery view. That way you will see all reward recipients at the time when cameras are allowed to be on for the opportunity also to have a screenshot. If you are viewing this on a cell phone via Zoom, you will swipe left for gallery view and to continue to swipe left to view all screens. If you have any questions or connection issues at all during the call, or the ceremony, please send a message to participants titled, Ask Me Questions. You will see that in my name, as well as one other participant on the call today. Please let us know if we can help you and we will begin our ceremony momentarily. Thank you, Patricia, and thank you to the Student Life and Development Office, Michelle Hathcock and Kim England for planning and organizing today's event. Good afternoon, Trailblazers. It's so good to see you all out there. Welcome students, parents, family, friends, faculty, and staff to AB Tech's first ever virtual academic achievement ceremony. I am Terry Brazier, Vice President of Student Services, and I'm honored to be facilitating today's program. The purpose of today's ceremony is to honor students who have earned certificate credentials in one or more of our curricula programs and those who have met the academic criteria for the deans and presidents list during the fall 2020 semester. Today also serves as a venue to celebrate and share your achievements with family and friends, faculty and staff, and community members who have supported your success along the journey. At the conclusion of today's ceremony, we will be mailing out your certificates. And now, at this time, let me introduce Dr. John Gossett, AB Tech's president, to give you a formal welcome on behalf of the college. Dr. Gossett? I think he's out there. <laughs> Dr. Casa, you're muted. Not anymore. Uh, there you go. <laughs> the word of the year, you're muted. Dr. Gossett, thank you for doing <laughs> Like a seance. Are you there? Are you there? I am so sorry. I turned on the camera and forgot to turn on the microphone. Um, at lunch, somebody asked me, where do you get your, your energy? And the answer is, without a doubt, and second place isn't close, students. Students give me my energy. And having to do this kind of an award ceremony uh, at a distance is not um, very energetic. However, you have worked hard for these honors and we want to honor you in the best way we can. So congratulations. 
thank you for choosing AB Tech as your next step towards your future. We are so thankful you're here. We are so thankful that we get to be a part of your story and are happy to be here today to help celebrate uh, the deans and presidents lists and the other honors that you have earned. So with that, and again, I apologize for, for making the huge Zoom faux pas of not turning on my microphone, but I'm thankful that you're with us and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Gossett. The first group of students we'll be, we will recognize are those who have completed program certificates. Program certificates are awarded to students who have completed a focused program of study, generally four to five, three credit hour classes designed to teach high demand skills needed to fill crit critical business needs. Earning a certificate in Behavioral Health Sciences Studies, Jessica Lee Bain. Earning a Certificate in Substance Abuse, Mary Crawford. Earning a Certificate in Basic Construction and Millwork, Avery Judd. Earning a Certificate in Medical Coding, Angela Cushman. Earning a certificate in office management, Natasha Madeira. Earning a certificate in basic welding one, Caden Maccabee. Earning a certificate in basic welding one, Lucas McCurry. Earning certificates in both medical coding and office management, Mary Moffitt. Earning a certificate in medical coding, Catherine Murphy. Earning certificates in digital media technology design level one and design level two, Jackie Rodriguez. Earning certificates in medical coding, word processing, desktop publishing, and office management, April Warren. At this time, I'd ask all program certificate earners for the fall of 2020 to please turn on your video cameras to be acknowledged and recognized. Let's give them all a round of applause. An air high five here. You all, great work. Congratulations. All right, now you can turn your cameras off. We'll proceed uh, on with the uh, ceremony. And now this time, let me introduce Dr. Beth Stewart, AB Tech's Vice President of Instruction, who will further describe the significance and importance of your achievements today. Dr. Stewart. Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations on behalf of the faculty and deans at AB Tech. Earning recognition for an academic achievement is always impressive, and it's even more so during a pandemic. Students recognized on the dean's list earned a 3.75 to a 3.9 GPA while taking a minimum of eight credit hours in a semester. They took these credit hours in one of the college's six academic divisions. The deans will announce the names of students in their divisions who have earned the dean's list recognition. Our first dean is Ron Lane, Dean of Academic Success and Public Service. If you can get rid of it, it's easy to get my house to work. If you want to watch it, it's like I can get rid of it. 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 Peace 
Ashley, come here, babes. Dean Lane, we cannot hear you, sir. I think you're on mute. Still, still no volume. Do Dr. Stewart, do, do you want to proceed to read uh, the Dean's list for on Ron's behalf for academic success in public service division, if you would. Sure. Thank you. For the early college education program, Brianna Elliott. From health and fitness science, Kylie Burnett. From health and fitness science, Andrea Lentini. From Human Services Technologies, Katherine Black. From Human Services Technology, Jessica Childress. From Human Services Technology, Amanda Davis. Davis. From Human Services Technology, Logan Forrest. From Human Services Technology, Marie Ortez Castillo. From Human Services Technology, Christina Pinkston. From Human Services Technology, Raylan Robinson. From Human Services Technology, Lakia Whiteside. From Early Childhood Education, Infant and Toddler, toddler Care, Senia Villatoro. And I'll turn it over to Dr. John Weiner, who will read the names from the Allied Health Division. John. Thank you, everybody. Good afternoon. Um, the Division of Allied Health encompasses 10 departments offering 12 degree programs and one certificate program all of which train highly competent professionals in the healthcare fields related to humans and animals and provide superb graduates to Western North Carolina, the state of North Carolina, the Southeast region and the entire United States. Next slide. In the associate degree nursing program, Emma Hart. In the associate degree nursing program, Jessica Saldana. In the Dental Hygiene Associate Degree Program, Lauren Cole. In the Medical Assisting Associate Degree Program, Adriana Delgado Lomelli. Also in Medical Assisting, Brianna McCulloch, Nadia Filson, Ali Rice, Tamara Robinson, Jocelyn Santa Clara and Brittany Whitener. In Medical Laboratory Technology Associate Degree Program, Savannah Johnson, Hope Killerman, Lexi Sink, Christine York, Brittany Winters. In the Medical Sonography Associate Degree Program, Kirby Lance. In the Occupational Therapy Assistant Associate Degree Program, Andrea Krause. Eleanor Schillow. And Megan Spicer. In the Pharmacy Technology Associate Degree Program, Michelle Garcia Diaz. In Surgical Technology Associate Degree Program, 
Zachary Kinsey, and Christina Mestler. In the Veterinary Medical Technology Associate Degree Program, Tiffany Rivas. And it's now my pleasure to introduce the Dean of Arts and Sciences, Mr. Kenneth Adamson. Welcome. We're now going to um, show the names of the Dean's List for the Associate of Arts and Associates of Science. So Associate of Arts, Kelly Andrew, Aaron Austin, Hannah Ball, George Byers, Margaret Crisp, Amanda Gomez, Bastian Gonzalez, Christina Gore, Tyler Hallman, Dustin Huang, Benson Hughes, Jaden Hutzel, Grace Kimbrough, Juliana Kolashuk, Dillian, uh, Dylan Lopez Garcia, Annalise Lukens, Brandon Marlowe, Dylan Matthew, Michael McConnell, Jackson Miller, Melanie Montenegro, Rory Moon, Chloe Moon, Kia Neal, Byron Needle, Michael O'Kane, Chelsea Ponder, Georgina Provencio, Grayson Randolph, Ali Shawam, Shawamra, Catherine Worley, Matthew Bixa, Associate of Engineering, by the way, Maxim Starkweather, Associate in Fine Arts and Visual Arts, Caitlin Della Capini, Anna Slayton, Associate in General Education, Pre-Medical Sonography, Jessica Moore, Shannon Phillips, Associate in General Education, Pre-Occupational Therapy, Patricia Brandt, Jamie Turner, Associate in General Education Pre-Radiography, Samantha Ball, Casey Lowry, Associate in General Education Pre-Dental Programs, Abigail Bingman, Haley Dehart, Ariel Flores, Haley Letterly, Associate in General Education Pre-Veterinary MedTech, Deandra Bouquet, Cami Cunningham, Janine Moore, Erica Wood, Associate in General Ed Education Nursing, Aubrey Clark, Tracy Schenken, Associate in Science, Ella Brown, Colton Dale, Matthew Fleischer, Reggie Griffin, Christopher Hunt, Brianna Kruger, Priscilla Ramirez Estrada, Brett Swartz, Casey Thomas, Elijah Vernon, Dylan Wall, College Transfer Pathway, Kylie Austin, 
Elenia Ball, Haley Clark, Helen Coates, Millie Kurutz, Jonathan Gilreef, Jia Hind, Annabelle Pentland, Joy Prettyman, Nikki Rials, Olivia Shelton, General Occupation Technology Nursing Ribbon, Angel Fitzgibbon, Anna Ponder, Sophie Thiel, Jacqueline Willis. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Brenda McFarland, Dean of Business and Hospitality Management Division. Thank you, Kenneth. The Business and Hospitality Education Division is home to seven different academic departments. We have about 18 degrees, six diplomas, and 26 certificates, including everything from accounting to web technology. I well, thank you all for being here today, and it gives me great pleasure to call the names of the Dean's List students from the Business and Hospitality Education Division. From Accounting and Finance, Brittany Rogers. Pamela Watson. Samantha West. From Baking and Pastry Arts, Patricia Santabinez. Ashley Triplett. From Business Administration, James Presley. Jaya Wilson. Erica Chapman Lawrence from General Business Administration. April Huskins. Madison Mackey, Rachel Tebow, Bethany Duke from Human Resources Management, from Marketing and Retailing, Don Gonzalez, Lauren Hill, Trinity Justice, from Cosmetology, Sophie Keller, Taylor Gillette, and from Culinary Arts, Lindley Amon, Betsy Tankersley, from Digital Media Technology, Cecilia Arana Fuines, Simon Jacobs, from Aesthetics Technology, Rachel Brandt, Darcy Buckler, Alexandria Guerin, Isabella Guinea, Krista Hesley, Adrian Honeycutt, Amy Juliana, from, from, this is from Aesthetics, Brittany Littlejohn, Aaliyah Montgomery, Lacey Robinson, from Hospitality Management, Sydney Larson. And from Information Systems, Angie Ball. From Network Management, Joy Smith. From Software and Web Development, Alex Marjanovic. From Manicuring and Nail Technology, Alana Pankey. From Medical Office Administration, Sianna Bolden. Tiffany Tilton, from Office Administration Finance, Randy Sackerson. Congratulations to everybody. And I'll hand it over now to Clint Gorman, the Dean of Emergency Services. Thank you, Dean McFarland. I am blessed and honored to work with the outstanding folks at AB Tech's Emergency Services Division. We are the home of all things public safety. We offer degree programs in emergency medical science, criminal justice, and public safety administration. But we also provide the initial state certification training for law enforcement, firefighting, EMT, and paramedic. 
For those who are already certified and working, we provide the mandated continuing education they need to keep those certifications. That means that essentially every emergency in Buncombe and Madison County is touched by helping hands from AB Tech, and we are very proud of that. Now let's recognize our Dean's List recipients. You'll be glad to know that we have a short list. In the criminal justice technology, Holly Luther. In emergency medical science, Billy Dillingham. Chester Watson. And Jaslyn Rodriguez. I told you it was a short list. Now I get to introduce my friend, David Walker, the interim dean of our engineering and applied technology division. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I'm happy to uh, call off the names for the folks from the engineering and applied technology division. From our building construction and science, we'd have nine cash. From building instrument, instrumentation and controls, we'd have Travis Ratchford. From our computer aided drafting technology, we'd have Austin McElrath. From computer integrated machine, we'd have Israel Croft, John Euler, Will Thornton. From our construction management technology, we'd have Daryl Braswell, Zach McMacken, um, and Brandon Roberts. From our electrical system technology, we'd have Chris Church and Gilbert Solis. From our geomatics technology, we'd have Grant Gyok. And from geomatics technology and land surveying fundamentals, Clark Boyne. From our welding technology, we'd have Derek Williams. Thank you, Deans. Much appreciated at this time. I invite all Dean's List awardees to turn on your video camera to be recognized as a group. Congratulations. Awesome job. Good stuff. So thank you. Please turn your cameras off now. The next students being recognized today are those who earned President's List honors. To make the president's list, students must have completed at least 12 credits of 100 or above courses while maintaining a 4.0 grade point average. Dr. Gossett will now acknowledge each recipient. Thank you, Dr. Brazier. I appreciate that. Uh, the ironic thing about the president's list when I was in your shoes, I was never on the president's list. So this brings me uh, a, a lot of honor and a little bit of jealousy at the hard work uh, that you have done. So congratulations. Uh, if we will go to the list, please. In early childhood, licensure transfer track, Ashley Hensley. Delicia Johnson. Heather Wilson. In Human Services Technology, Amanda Rattio. Billy Early. Elizabeth Heck. Maya Hughes. Jacqueline McCurry. Haley Moore. Allie Mudry. Jennifer Ricci, Brooke Richards, Madeline Smith, Kylie Wooten. In Substance Abuse Studies, Rachel Bennett, Rebecca Hampton, Kelsey Presley. In our Allied Health Division, in Associate Degree Nursing, 
Skyler George. In dental assisting, Mackenzie Caldwell. In medical assisting, Sandra Aguirre. Marissa Cabrera. Melissa Collins. Lindsay Livingston. Kasha Martin. Hannah Park. In occupational therapy assistant, Deborah Cronin. Rebecca Duncan. Bailey Lotta. In veterinary medical technology, Krista Kelly. In our arts and sciences division, Associate in Arts, Pedro Alvarez, Carol Barber, Christina Billingsley, Kathleen Brookshire Burren, Portia Carter, Dawn Chitwood, Chase Cutshaw, Kristen Harrell, Keelan Harrison, Beth Harvey, Paula Johnson, Elijah Lauder, Jacob Lee Leahy, Crystal Merlis, Jolie Wynn, Ava Rice, Skyly. Schomburg, Jessica Soper, Jasmine Swirsky, Taylor Wilson, in Associate in Engineering, Waylon Ponder, Christopher Velt, in Associate in Fine Arts, Visual Arts, Miriam Ian Martinez, Associate in General Education, Pre-Occupational Therapy, Emily Weems, Associate in General Education Nursing, Daniel Zima, Associate in Science, Corey Belt, Keelan Brown, Susan Chestnut, Earl Page, Glenda Rakilchuk, Lavender Ross, Jacob Sadler, Grace Schramm, Mason Steimuk, Ann Bertafuelli, Auburn Bailey, Co Auburn Bailey College Transfer Pathway. Ava Collier. Sky Fitzhugh. Caitlin Ladd. Kelsey Walker. General Occupational Technology Nursing Ribbon, Amy Kong. And now for business and hospitality management division, the president's list includes in accounting and finance, Savannah Meese, Jacob Vandenberg, aviation, private pilot, Matt Carpenter, aviation management and career pilot, aviation management, John Kalikowitz, excuse me, Kalikowiski. Baking and Pastry Arts, Aubrey Cobble, Emily Wysocki, Joy Wysocki, Brewing, Distillation and Fermentation, John Bold, Kelly Crown, Vladimir Hill, Business Administration, General Business Administration, Erica Frith, 
Carolyn Gosnell, Priscilla Hammermeister, Dylan Wohart. In cosmetology, Jess Purple. In culinary arts, Michael DeGray, Tyra Faulkner, Nora Knapp, Laura Ponder, Entrepreneurship, Natasha Cartwright. Information Technology, Database Management, Amber Rice. Information Technology, Software and Web Development, Chelsea Lang. Information Technology, Systems Security, Alex Cook. Medical Office Administration, Lena Arrington. Taylor Hefner, Kelly Heinerth, Daisy Marquis, Stephanie Milani, Office Administration Finance, Stephanie Stevenson, Office Administration General Office, Jasmine Vaughn. The President's List for Emergency Services Division include Criminal Justice Technology, Melissa Clark, Maya Kopney, David Gillespie, James Moore, Megan Webb, Evan White, Haley Williamson, Emergency Medical Science, Abby Beasley. The President's List for Engineering and Applied Technology Division. Jawan Pock in Air Conditioning and Heating Intermediate. Air Conditioning Cooling, Stephen Sanook. Philip Armachain. Air Conditioning, Heating and Refrigeration Technology, PJ Armachain. Bryson Spell. Automotive Systems Technology, Isidro Palafox. Gabe, um, excuse me, Gabe Scafidi. Computer Engineering Technology, Michael Churchill. Alex Cole, Construction Management Technology, Trevor Brumley, Electrical Systems Technology, Stuart Reynolds, Elia Trubach, Electronics Engineering Technology, Josh Barnwell, Ken Lilly, Ben Nix, Tim Sheehan, Sustainability Technologies, Sam Keegley, Ben Stark, Josh Swafford, Welding Technology, Morgan Owen. Congratulations, President's List nominees and award winners. Thank you, Dr. Gossett. Please turn the cameras on, President List awardees, so we can recognize. Good job. Excellent. Congratulations. Thanks again, Dr. Dr. Gossett. So once again, I'd like to congratulate each of you on your amazing accomplishments achieved today especially during a pandemic. Wow, so again, everybody turn, turn your cameras on and give yourself another round of applause. Air high five. I mean, y'all just did amazing stuff this, this past academic year. So we encourage you to continue to blaze trails and strive for increased educational attainment, academic excellence, 
both here at AB Tech and, and beyond. Uh, whatever your future holds, you should always be proud of and share your achievements with your family, friends, peers, faculty, staff, and your experiences here at AB Tech. I remind you of some upcoming uh, events and important dates. So many of you will probably be at the academic awards ceremony on April 13th, where we sort of uh, honor the most valuable students in each respective department here at AB Tech. Uh, summer and fall registration is quickly approaching. So go ahead and get those courses lined up, uh, meet with your advisor, uh, talk to your peers, remind them of these, these dates, go ahead and uh, plan your courses for summer and fall. And then uh, commencement, sort of kind of our uh, ultimate celebratory event here at AB Tech is, is May 15th, 2021 at two o'clock. And I'm sure uh, we'll see some of you there, albeit virtual. Thank you again for participating in today's ceremony. We do have this out there recorded on our AB Tech YouTube channel. So go out there and share it with family and friends and uh, go Trailblazers. Thanks and have a good night.